What's up guys? Uh, well, it's been quite a long time since I made a video. Um, today I'm working on a uh, Xbox One S water-cooled. Um, I have had a water-cooled system before. Uh, I mean, since my last video, obviously. Uh, it's the 360E or whatever. Um, I had it water-cooled. Uh, but I took it apart so I could sort of some of the parts there. Took the pump and I also took the water block out to see if uh, that would work on this new system. Uh, it does in fact fit. That's the XSPC 360 slim water block, but it does work on this one. Uh, same dimensions. Uh, I also had most of these fittings are also from the uh, other Xbox there. But um, so I've had it disassembled been trying to figure this out for a while. Um, I like to at least have the pump on the inside. Um, with these newer systems it's really hard to have a fully internal system. Uh, unlike the original 360, once you take out those heat sinks, there's tons of room in there, but um, <clears throat> especially with this system they added the uh, internal power supply. Go ahead and put the hard drive in there. As you can see the original heatsink, I think it's actually over here, I uh, actually took up this whole spot here. <laughs> Obviously with a water block it's, it takes up a lot less space, um, but I was, it took me a long time just to even figure out the orientation of the pump so that it would still fit in here. Basically I got it going right in here. Well, with the tubing on this one it'll be kind of snug, but it does fit. I have the tubing on there. Um, really wanted to figure out a way to have the pump go to the water block all on the inside but with how tight everything is you just and you know without getting a bunch of uh, expensive fittings and uh, connectors and all that can't really have it go through the inside so uh found these cubes here I kind of figured out a way to uh I'll have four cubes kind of sticking out the side of the uh, system here and if you, you can see these are actually connected together so this one will just kind of loop it right back in but hopefully they'll kind of be sticking out a little bit you'll just see the cubes and the, obviously when I get some kind of colored fluid you'll still see it through there this one here is a three-way so there's another hole there that's so I can put in the uh, temperature sensor right there um, temperature displays right here I was hoping to have it go on the front so it'd be like right on the front of the system but fortunately this is right where the uh, power board goes on the front so I figured it can go right in the top and there's a little room there for the wires that stick out the back going through the system <coughs> um, go ahead and show you the parts I got here so, like I said, the pump and uh, water block I've had for a while, just reusing them. The uh, reservoir I found, it's a really, really nice, looks cool too. It's XSPC, I'd recommend this one for any water-cooled project. It's uh, only $30. It's got two uh, fittings on each side, the fill port at the top. Uh, comes in different colors. They also have ones with uh, integrated pumps. And those are still only like 60 bucks, which for a uh, reservoir pump combo is pretty cheap. I tried to get the uh, thinnest radiator and fan combo here. Just kind of keep everything, you know, not sticking up too high there. Got the, uh, the fittings are there at the bottom. Uh, like I said, I'm still figuring out the I'm going to have everything oriented and all that so that there's not tubes looping all over the place. Um, try to keep them real, you know, against the system and not uh, sticking out everywhere. Um, so we'll have to cut into the side here for the fittings to go through. Um, as you can see these wires here, this is a... Uh, Good idea when you're doing water cool projects. These are what I'm going to use for the pump. Um, 
real quick the this connection here is where the original fan plugged in obviously I'm not using the original fan I'm gonna go ahead and tap the uh, pump into that I just need to find out the uh, which one's 12 volts and all that um, but so this side will be to the motherboard and this one to the pump so that you can have it you can unplug it and plug it back in easily for you know testing other things you don't want the pump running dry um, a lot of people are nervous about tapping into the power on the Blu-ray drive. Um, you know, for LEDs, fans, stuff like that. Those kind of things don't really take that much power. It's not going to be a problem. Um, but like I said, the pump will be tapped to here. The uh, fan here, which is a low volt, uh, quiet fan. That w That's what I'm going to tap into the Blu-ray drive here. And uh, for the temperature display, since it requires 5 volts, I'll go ahead and tap that into the hard drive. One of the wires here, it's got a 5-volt. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, pretty much where I'm at now. I will have to cut a little bit into the metal casing here, just to have room for the tubing coming out. But uh, other than that, uh, I'll have another video soon once I uh, start cutting in and figured out the loops and have all the wires plugged in. Uh, any questions about that, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, and then once I have all the things figured out and where I'm going to put the tubing, I'll also have to order some more uh, like fittings and some tubing, fluid, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment.